One nil win over Shildon tonight. Uh, really have to kind of grind out tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts? Massive result. Absolutely massive result. Um, we've never beaten before. This this game we've actually never won that game. We've never beat Shildon as far as I can, as far as we've talked about before. And we drew and lost last year. Prior to that, I don't think we've beaten them before. We we've been very very close. And we we always use we've always in the past used them as a bit of a a bit of a marker in the Northern League First Division because they're always strong and they're always up there. And they, they will be again. So to beat them at any time is is difficult, regardless of how how we've been playing. We've been four 0 at the weekend or whatever, and it was a difficult game today. Um, we defended well, they're very direct as usual, just route one, um, and then just play around the bits, which we we were we were expecting. Um, but you still have to deal with that, and I think we dealt with it very well. I would say this season, I think we're dealing with that route one football really well. Yeah, we we come across it quite a lot. Uh, Liverpool played that way. Um, guys that did it with a bit more a bit more finesse at times um, and children are doing exactly the same way that looks like the way that they play whether they play a 3-5-2 or whether they play a 4-3-3 or, or, or whatever they play it, it's getting to the big guys up front and work from there um, which is not our style of play but we, it's effective and you've got to deal with it and, it, and it, it causes problems up the field you've got to work with work against throw-ins, corners, free kicks everything like that and constant pressure so it does you don't get to break up the players much I think when, when we did when they did make mistakes we could break a little bit or when we were a bit more comfortable on the ball but um, it was a tight game and uh, we did well to see it through. And um, yeah, Shildon had quite a bit of the ball there but still didn't create many chances and no, Ross they, was solid throughout. I, th I think that they didn't really change the way of playing and they didn't really have success playing that way so for me I think our, our whole back four plus the keeper again if you're going to put balls in the air, we've got a six foot five lad, a six foot three lad, and two full backs who were very, very comfortable in the air, in the ball. And and Ross on his uh, on his debut for us has been very good at sweeping up behind and reading everything there. So if you're gonna if you're gonna play that way, we're quite happy to defend that way as well. So no, no problem there. And uh, attacking wise today, goal from Dan Williams. Good to see that. Yeah, he was. Um, when it was a little bit more open in the first half, he was joining in a little bit more. We asked him to stay a bit more in the second half, um, and he took the goal, took the ball, took the goal well. Well, sorry, it's a great ball too. Took it well. Um, Munchie's done very well at that point to pick him out. Uh, James Risborough has played superbly now. To be fair to him, I think he was a little bit unlucky to get a yellow, yellow card for the incident in the corner because the lads kicked him in the rib while he's down and he sort of just squared up to him. Um, but yeah, it was good for Dan to, to get himself a goal. He scores regularly in training. Sometimes a little bit better than that. Um, so he was he was on fire on Monday. So yeah, that was brilliant. And just unfortunately, he couldn't get a second goal to sort of consolidate it really. But yeah, we did. We didn't really create any real massive chances. I don't think um, they defended well as well. And and, and there's I, I don't we don't mind winning the game one 0 against the likes of Shildon. We don't have to go and win two or three. That's three points. It's the same as four is as, as a four 0 is three points. You don't have to go. And, score a second to kill the game because we laid ourselves wide open and we're quite happy doing that and winning that 1-0 so it's still three points for us and it's a huge three points and uh, finally we have a league game at home this weekend um, yeah against concert yeah it'll be a nice uh, nice Saturday at home hopefully to get hopefully decent crowd in and see what concert have got a decent following see what we can bring to a to a Saturday afternoon league match um, and again the games are the games are big another big one coming thick and fast as usual um, so it's important for us to, to try and continue our winning winning ways and get another three points again it'll be a very difficult game and I think we must be second in the league but we've got so many games in hand on these other teams yeah. and I think Heaven drew two all off I yeah heard. I just spotted that there really late equaliser from RC I think 97th minute or something um, which means they both dropped two points if you're going to look at it positively from our point of view um, and us picking up three I think like you say I think the on goal difference puts us above concert um, and just clawing away at, at heaven and, and trying to keep everybody away from us. Yeah, just have that tunnel vision and win every game that's in front of us. Really. Win every game that's in front of us, doesn't matter whether it's uh, League, Vars, Durham Cup, uh, League Cup, whatever it is, um, just go and try, and try and win the games. And We want to win everything that we're in this year. We, we want to have a fantastic season. We want to, we're very focused on doing it.